In my practice, um, I see a huge uh, female population and of course a reasonable um, male population as well. And uh, when it comes to problems related to sexual health, uh, it's commonly when they come in, they have some form of symptoms or signs, and uh, which is quite um, uh, uh, devastating for them because and they are naturally extremely worried and uh, usually is something to do with a pain or a, a rash or a discharge or bleeding um, which they have no idea what what's happening and because of the um, health literacy and the, the beliefs that my population of patients have uh, obviously they think that this is some kind of uh, a very uh, serious problem and uh, they, they come to me uh, wanting some answers and uh, most of the time when they come it's after pondering about it for a few weeks or, or something like that when they have actually been so stressed out and then ultimately they have no choice but come in and, and talk to me about it. So th those are the kind of uh, p sexual health problems that they have when they, they normally it's the signs and the symptoms that drives them to come and see me. Usually it's um, due to the reason for visit and it gets integrated in part and parcel of the consultation. For example, when someone comes in uh, beginning a new relationship and would like to request for a proper health checkup or for example, uh, for example, when somebody wants to talk about contraception, starting on contraception, it's always d discussed about this, is about, always discussed and of course in specific uh, uh, groups of patients who are planning a pregnancy or are pregnant, uh, we naturally do a uh, STI check for patients with uh, who are planning a pregnancy or who are pregnant. And of course, if the patient themselves would like to have a STI check, it's always done. The most important thing is please treat this like any other problem that you would go to your GP for. We are there to help you. We are extremely accessible. Uh, we are non-judgmental and we are highly confidential and more than that we would know how to help you and if you do need further help we know where to send you and this will only happen if you come and see us and it's very okay to feel very anxious about this because it's a very highly personal problem but unless you talk to us and let you let us know what you're feeling we cannot help you so please come and see us please Trust us with what you have and we will do our very best to make you feel much better. I think it's great that you are doing your own research, but I would seriously suggest that you go for some really credible websites. My personal favorites are the Family Planning New South Wales, the Jean Hales Foundation, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Better Health Victoria, and of course, there is a British-based website called the National Health Service. You'll find the links on the description below. Please take a look. Contraception is just one of the ways where you take full control of your body and plan your pregnancies in a systematic manner. And naturally, your first port of call would be your family-friendly GP, who will provide you with great trusted advice and the family planning services, and of course, the sexual health clinic. It's okay to have concerns. It's okay to be anxious, I, especially about your body image, especially about your sexual functioning. I really would like to advise you to go and see your GP, who will be able to help you on that and who will also be able to put you in touch with professionals like a sex therapist who will be able to help you further. If you don't ask these questions, you will not be able to get any help.